Hey everyone, I'm at the Ace Cafe uh, on the 406 North Circular, just uh, quite near Wembley Stadium. And uh, I'm here today. Uh, it's uh, just going to rain, so bad timing on my behalf, I'm afraid, but never mind. So yeah, I've been here all, uh, about an hour now. And the reason why I'm here is to test ride a CCM Maverick. Uh, they've got the Spitfire here uh, and the CCM uh, Infinity, I believe. Uh, but I'm here just to test ride the uh, Maverick uh, and I'm really quite serious about buying one. Uh, depends on the price, overall price, if I have had any sort of mods added to it. But yeah, we'll, we'll see. We'll see what the ride entails. I've got about another one hour to wait, which is okay. I'm just hoping it's not going to rain too heavy. Um, so I had a lovely breakfast here at the Ace Cafe. It's got a lovely history if you know, you've never been here. Uh, it was... Um, Rebuilt in 1938, I believe, uh, after it was hit by a bomb, uh, a second world bomb that is, and uh, they rebuilt it. So it's been a haven and a meetup for um, bikers, and now at the moment they've got a performance car meetup as well. So any kind of classic cars, whether it's Audi, VW, uh, Harley Davidson bikes, uh, just everything really, just uh, performance bikes, everything. So yeah, if you haven't already been here, calm down, it's great. Sounds grunty, very grunty, it's nice. Okay, we're rolling here. Take a bit of use to get used to. Let's have a look here. Oof. Wow. Okay. So we're rolling now. So I'm sitting on the uh, CCM Infinite, or Infinity, I should say. And it's uh, the one that uh, Mark Wahlberg used in the film Infinite. So it's the Infinity. It's the uh, 
liquid silver version and uh, so far so good I've only just rolled out of the, the Ace Cafe in North London here not far from uh, Wembley Stadium and uh, so far yeah it's, it's, it feels really responsive just taking it nice and easy I'm, I'm uh, last in the pack but I don't really care about that I'd like to uh, get the feel of the bike rather than just sort of you know first gear so the T TFT is kind of small compared to what, what I'm used to um, keep putting it in neutral for some reason I need to go right up so yeah need to make sure <laughs> I'll kick it above so it's very quite responsive the, the actual motorbike uh, initial thoughts Let's have a quick look yeah yeah it's very responsive so I'm not going to go obviously too mad there's a lot of traffic up here so we're, we're going to get stuck in a lot of this hmm it's a shame that it's in North London so I have to let the clutch out quite far for for it to uh, pull away so which is unusual because on my bike obviously all bikes are different um, you know I have to let it right out but really slowly I think because I don't know I guess it's like most bikes it's uh, you get used to it um, but chatting to to Paul the actual owner or one of the owners of CCM um, just asked him lots of questions about the mods you can add on to it and uh, you know you can upgrade these bikes um, I spoke to a guy who has got the Maverick uh, basic model I think it's about just over ten thousand pound and uh, he's, he's really enjoying it I mean to be honest uh, the reviews and the feedback I'm getting from people is that this motorbike isn't for motorways it's more for sort of green laning and uh, which is what I'll be using it mostly for so this is ideal for me really um, so I think this one goes uh, for about just under 12,000 so which is here from the motor, it's the bottom, that's the bobber in front of me. Beautiful exhausts, so I've got to make sure that that goes into second gear, which I am in now. Lovely, that's it. Let's have a quick look around. So you can see the arches of Wembley, we're going towards Wembley uh, Stadium right now. There are no green lanes around here, which is, as I was saying earlier, such a shame because this is what the uh, motorbikes are, are made for really but uh, the brakes are really responsive uh, twin pot calipers at the front and the single color pot at the, at the back at the rear I'm not sure what make they are I've not heard of these make before and what CCM have done is on every bike they put a, a number I marked on it this, this one is number three in the range and initially they were only making 250 of one type like the Spitfire uh, they do a flat tracker and a bobber so only 250 in, a, in one certain range so they've, they've diversified and the reason for that was so that it didn't have to go through regulations like crash testing uh, but they've changed that now um, so Paul says and um, they've made it a lot better because there's such a demand for them um, they're getting to be quite popular and even if you buy one second hand they're saying that it holds its price uh, now where I live I've only ever seen one of these on it on, you know going around and uh, and the conversations I've had with these uh, with, with the owners is that they're, they're really enjoying it it's such a lovely bike to have uh, of course this will be my second bike um, the other one being the T120 Bonneville um, so I'm really looking for a bike that is going to get me through winter the T120 is beautiful for lovely weekend rides uh, but this one would really sort of fit me initially I was looking at the KTM 390 but um, I quite like this you know it's come from a family of, of, of um, scramblers uh, hence the design of it it's uh, very scrambler-esque sort of naked bike 
Um, and yeah, the company was, was um, started in 1971 apparently, up north, I uh, can't, can't remember where. And then just went off the, went off the scales really, it, it, went, it, went, it went really quiet I think I heard. And then all of a sudden it's come back, We've got so, some new owners to give it life. just a special big massive thank you for all those that have uh, subscribed to me uh, currently as it stands I've got 82 subscribers so uh, I think maybe I'm doing something right so just a, a massive thank you for all those that have joined uh, and come on board just to watch to see what I get up to uh, I've got loads of things lined up in the future uh, just to say that um, um, the CCM motorcycle that I rode um, a couple of days ago, um, the Maverick Infinity uh, was an absolutely amazing machine, uh, 600cc um, engine, Husqvarna engine that is, it's uh, 50 brake horsepower, um, it's, a, it's a, a single cylinder four stroke uh, engine, um, absolutely amazing uh, machine. Uh, if I had the money, I'd buy it. It's a little bit expensive for a 600cc. There are motorcycles out there that um, can compete that and, and really, you know, I, I would like to take a look at. Um, so, again, thank you for, for joining me um, and just come along for the ride. Just one other thing. Um, I'm getting people making comments. That's fantastic. I'd love um, constructive comments. Uh, but is any, if there's anything you, you would like to see, uh, please comment, like and also subscribe. I don't really ask many people to subscribe, but in this instance, um, you know, for, for the YouTube channel and, and to really, really help me out, uh, it would be, would be fantastic for you to subscribe. Uh, thanks again.